Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to use a date diff function within SQL. A date diff function can either be used in your select statement or also your where clause for filtering. Now, what's kind of cool is you can compare two specific dates, but go down to a specific time that you want. So it could be anything from years all the way to weeks, months, or even nanoseconds. I'll show you guys a few different examples and let's start coding together. So here is how a date diff function works. You have your date type in here, which you can specify as I mentioned, like years or months or weeks. Then you have your start date and then also your end date. Now I have this link to Microsoft over here. And if you guys actually check this out, you can see all the different arguments that you can put for that date type. So year, quarter, month, day of year, day, week, hour, minute, second, millisecond, microsecond, and nanoseconds. So I'm gonna put this down below. You guys can explore the documentation for this specified function. Now going back over here, I do wanna show you guys as well another function because I will be using it and it's called get date. And if I run this statement over here, you can see it says 2023, 525, 1956. Well, it is 525 and I am working on this at 756 Eastern time. So that lets it know this over here. And uh, you guys should have the background now to take a look at some of these date diff functions. So what I'll be using for this tutorial as well is a table called random dates. I just threw seven dates in here. No reason for the specified dates. Um, but I've used them in other tutorials and I feel like it would be pretty helpful with this one. That being said, let's take a look at this first example over here where we're going to be taking a look at a year. So I'm going to copy over this random dates and I'm going to do a, an example within the select statement first and then we'll use a uh, one in the where clause. So all I need to do is select and then down below, always tab over so it looks a lot nicer. We're going to do date diff. And we're going to type in year because that's what we want to show first. And then the start date, I'm just going to put over here this date column. So I'm just going to say date. And then I'm going to put get dates as the end date, which is today. And I'm just going to name this as year diff. Okay. And let's also put from, and this lets a specific table. And the only other thing I'd recommend just put in here really quick is date. So you guys can see exactly how the date shows up and the difference. So date over here, year diff. I think this uh, is good to go. So you can see 2023, there is zero of a year difference. 2022 has one, 23 again, zero. Uh, 2022, one, 21, two, 23, zero. And 2022 is a one. Uh, but being able to publish these over here, it's kind of powerful because now you can throw these into a where clause. So watch this. So I'm just going to comment this out and copy this and put this over here. So I'm going to say where date diff equals one. So this is going to show me all the specified dates that were in 2022. Now I'm getting error here. That's just because we have this comma. So if you just comment that out or delete it if you would like, you can see 2022 shows up on the other side of things. So this is working properly. And you guys can see how we can throw this in the select statement, or we can also throw this over here in that where clause for filtering. And I will say for like, when you build out reports, you will be using date diff. Uh, it just kind of depends on the parameters of the report and specifically what kind of like a customer wants or an exec at a company. I know I use date diff quite a lot within the reports uh, where I work at. So now we're going to take a look at month. So it'll give the month difference between everything. So this time we're not going to get zero for things that were in 2023. So I'm just going to copy this over here and then remove these comments. And I'm going to change this first thing from year to month, just like that. Now, if we run this, you can see there's a four, 16, negative six, 11, 25, negative seven, and seven. And the reason why we have negatives is this date hasn't happened yet. This is 12, 12 of 2023. We're in May. So that doesn't make sense. 11, 23. Well, again, we're in May. So six months of a difference. And I know I have day down here, but if you guys really wanted to put day as an example, just change that out over there. You can see the 
date difference on this side of things. If you wanted to say weeks, which is just week, not weeks, but throw that over there and you can see the difference in weeks. I will also say you will find these functions on different coding questions, whether it's like a lead code or a data lemma or even coding interviews. So something that you should memorize, remember uh, specifically the difference in date, then start date and also end date. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to subscribe as it does help out the YouTube channel. And it's 100% for free. By the way, you should check out this video over here where I cover SQL wildcards.